My name's Tammy Imber, I'm a final year apprentice and I'm a material process engineer. When I first applied for the company I was kind of taken back by how it says MBDA and then missile systems. I didn't think we uh, even built missile systems in this country, never mind in the same town that I lived in. You start your placements on the shop floor and you go to various placements. You do three months of your time on each section. And then in your second year, you lead up to going into the engineering offices. In your third and fourth year, you start to go into where you're going to come out your time on. Straight from school, I went straight to sixth form, which was attached to um, my high school. I did AS levels, but found out it wasn't for me. So I started do, um, searching for other routes. And I got into a college in Bolton, Bolton Community College, doing a motor vehicle for a year. And after that, I wanted to get an apprenticeship because I wanted to work. I always thought I'd end up going to university because that's where school was pushing me and that's where my mum was pushing me. My mum's a school teacher, teaching ICT in high school. When I decided to leave college after one year again to do an apprenticeship, she wasn't happy about it. My mum threatened me with all sorts, such as throwing me out of the house and, and things like that. But my sister, um, talked her around to it but because she was a school teacher and what the perception of most school teachers are, are that all you do is make cups of teas if you're an apprentice so um, my mum did have the chance to come into work to see what sort of work I do undertake however she didn't <laughs> she didn't take me up on that offer but she has seen how much I've grown in confidence and how I've been able to afford a car and holidays by myself and I'm not relying on, on her anymore so she's she's realizing now how much of a good job I've got well you do your two years ONC um, and then you do two years HNC in electronic engineering so when I come, my, come out of my time in September I'll have an ONC in HNC and then you do one year HND after you've come out your time I grew up being a tomboy um, always wanted to do, like play football or rugby and stuff like that so I don't really have a clue where it came from it's just something I've always wanted to do I want, wanted to get uh, my hands dirty really and find out how things work and design stuff. My older sister who's a couple of years older than me went to York University doing a biology degree and then once she left she was unemployed for a year to a year and a half um, living at home which my mum didn't quite like at all. I was more ready when I was 18 because I knew what I wanted to do then than when I was 16. You're not just expected to know how to build a missile as soon as you start here at all. Like I still don't know how to build a full missile but you sort of um, learn your job role so you could be um, a designer and you design only a certain bit, you wouldn't design the whole missile. We go to college and it's on day release, so we go, I currently go every Tuesday. So it's only it's nine till four, nine, nine till five that we do there. I just applied for it, but when I turned up for my interview, I came with fully, fully prepared. I came in with my portfolio from um, a college project. I didn't know what to expect, but I thought if I couldn't get what I wanted to get across personally, then I could always have this work to back it up to say I'm not as rubbish as I might come across. Yeah, I really enjoy what I do. It's completely different and I never thought I would ever um, have a job like this. I didn't think jobs like this existed. 